All right, again with the pound for pound, former pound for pound king, Andre Ward. Uh, Andre, Tony, uh, Tony Bellew, Alexander Usyk signed a fight today. Good fight, man. Mm -hmm. um, on paper, you know, Usyk has the advantage, you know what I'm saying? He's a better boxer, he could do more. Um, but you can't, you know, everybody underestimates Tony Bell. You, you can't measure heart, you can't measure desire. The big the big issue that I have about this fight is that, that Bell is going to cut all that weight to get back down to 200. That's the caveat. And I know in his mind he feels like I can make the weight. But what are you going to have after you make the weight? He's been, what, 220, 225, yeah, something like, like that? 215, I think. 215-ish? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure he walks around probably a little heavier than that. You're going to strip that down and he's been up a heavyweight, what? Year and a half, mm -hmm. maybe two, something yeah, like that. Year and a half, two. Yep. It's dangerous, bro. It's dangerous. So he'll look good. He, you know, I mean, Tony really don't have a physique like that, but he gets tight. That's when you know he's in shape. He gets tight. But what are you gonna have when you make the weight? And that's not the dude to be flat against, Usyk. Uh huh. So that's the big caveat, man. But I like Bellu. I don't know much about Usyk personally. Never met him. Good fighter, but um, I'm gonna ride with Tony on this one. To, to turn it, okay, well, to turn it to the other side, could it help him that he was at heavyweight? Because he's used to, to taking heavyweight punches and he's shown the power to knock out a heavyweight. In theory, mm -hmm. in theory it makes sense, but physically it's not gonna be good. Can't strip that kind of weight off, man. Well, okay, from a casual perspective though, they're gonna look at it and say, well, Tony's a little round though. Maybe yeah. he could he could use taking taking off a few pounds. He'll still yeah, but, but the body's, the body's, um, the body in general is used to being heavier. Like that's why you can't play around at a heavier weight. It's one thing if you had a one off, went up and it came right back down. Still dangerous, but it's more doable. But if you sat around there and you, you've walked around heavier, you said a year and a half, almost two years. I don't know what the exact time frame is, but somewhere around there, it's dangerous. Now you now you now you're telling your body at the higher age, I gotta take that off and I need you to perform. Mm -hmm. Body's like, whoa, wait a second. Wait a second, I'm not used to doing this. I'm used to performing at this level. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. You'll look good, you'll make the weight, everybody will rant and rave, but then you'll get in the ring. Even the first couple of rounds, you'll feel good, and all of a sudden, boom, you hit a wall. So I hope that's not the case. It's a great matchup. I want it to be a great fight. Uh, and I'm pulling for Tony. But I just that's the thing that has me kind of that's that gives me pause. Did you see Usyk in that 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 finals? I didn't. I no. really didn't. I've never heard of the guy mm -hmm. up until the time people, you know, started kind of. I think it was right before his finals. People started kind of linking me and him together, and I start seeing stuff online like, who is this dude? Never heard of him. Uh, but good fighter though. Really good fighter. Like you said, people started linking you guys. Yeah, that's how I know. found out about him. Yeah. It's because you know we champ in light heavyweight, so next would be cruiserweight. Uh, I remember I, I asked you back in June about Bellu, and you were like, "I'm good, I'm good." But then I said, "Well, what if he still had that green strap?" Yeah, yeah, you go, yeah. "Well, it'd be a little more, so, yeah. be a little more enticing." Yeah. So if he went, let's say he beats Usyk, or is Andre Ward maybe back in business? Man, I think I don't think it's a one-off situation. Like it's not one thing that could like bring me out of retirement. Like I'm, I'm and I'm enjoying life, I'm doing my thing right now, just, just enjoying my family, working and you know, in other fields and, you know, just everything but boxing right now. Um, but it would have to be a lot of things that fall in place to where I feel like, you know what, this is a situation. But nobody's calling my name. Right. That's for a reason though, you know? What if like, Tony calls it? You know, he'd say Tony wins the fight. I want Andre Ward, you know? He did already. Right, right, he did. He did already. But now with the green strap and the red <laughs> strap and... <laughs> But he never like they never like followed up on that though. As far as I know, like they he said what he said. But like my team, they would have told me if it was in depth conversations or somebody you know. Yeah, my my, my team would have told me. So I don't know. You know, right now it's just just pie in the sky. Yeah. Just just talk. But um, I knew like when Tony called my name, part of him calling my name, he's looking for the right guy for an exit strategy. And I think he feels like Usyk is the guy. He knows it's going to be a tough fight, but he feels like he can break Usyk. He feels like, you know, he can wear him down. That's what I think he feels like. But it's a great matchup. I might go to the fight. You know, and, and lastly, man, what you commentating and doing the contender, is it just a thing where it's like boxing's so brutal that you'd rather be covering the fights and, and doing things around boxing instead of actually fighting because it's so, you know, taxing on the body? I don't know, man. It's, 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 like, a, it's like bittersweet, you know? I'm a competitor and, you know, I've always been like that. I'm always going to be like that. And that doesn't turn off just because I retired. So, retirement is, I've said this a couple times in my retirement, it's not easy, bro. I'm a competitor. 
Like it's hard being on the sideline. You know, even though you have great things going on like television, movies, and commentating, it's still hard because your, your instinct, the thing that drove you to be great, is in you. You want to get in. You want to jump in. The, you want to jump in the game. So, but that's the that's the challenge, and that's like I look at I look at retirement like an opponent right now. So I approach it the same way. I study my opponent. I do my research on my opponent. You know, and when it's my time, which it is right now, to execute my game plan, that's what I'm trying to do. You got people on this side, just like when I fought, they said, oh man, you know, Warzone getting knocked out. You got people saying right now, oh, you retired too soon. People over here supported me and said I was a you know, great fighter and I was going to win all my fights. You got people saying, man, you did the right thing. You got out on time. So it's the same dynamic. So it's a challenge. Um, but I feel like I made the right decision, man. And, you know, of course, you love flirting with coming back, and you know your instinct wants you to come back. You convince yourself that your body can take it, but right now, man, it's just just talk, and I'm chilling, man.